Hi everybody, welcome to day 22 gratitude yoga challenge. Today is giving gratitude. So today we're going to have our class with a chair. So if you have something like a kitchen chair, you know, it's just a simple chair, one that doesn't have wheels and we don't want you to roll away and a strap belt of some sort. And if you have a blanket that you can fold kind of like this, that would be fantastic. Using a chair helps those who actually have really tight hips. So it even makes the class more useful for you. So I will see you on the mat. Grab your stuff. And it's that time. So welcome everybody. Day 22, give gratitude. When I think about giving gratitude, I think about those in my life that I'm so grateful for. People, nature, so much that I'm grateful. This is beautiful earth that I'm grateful for. So sometimes it's not so easy to think of one person or one thing that I would like to give my gratitude today. So I invite all of you to think of a special person or something in your life that you're very grateful for. Today, I am thinking of a dear friend that recently passed away in our family. And I have so much love for him he was a great uncle for me. And I'm going to give gratitude for him by dedicating my class to him. It's a beautiful practice to dedicate your yoga class to somebody or to something. So let's open up our hands. Open up to that gratitude in our heart. Just close your eyes and envision what it is that you are grateful for, something specific that you can dedicate your class to today. Holding that in your heart, let's bring our hands in front of our heart in Anjali Mudra. And we'll inhale with a breath and chant one Om. Inhale. Ah. Softly bowing your head towards your heart. Being present to the gratitude within us. Setting intention to send it out to what it is that we are grateful for today, to a specific person or thing or place. Hold that in your mind's eye and your heart for a couple more breaths. Let's open up our eyes and open up our hands. So we're gonna move through our practice today with a chair. I thought it'd be um, nice to show you all. We often do chair classes and when our 30 days is over, I've had a lot of people ask me, what are we, we gonna be offering? So one of the classes that we eventually will have is a chair yoga class. And it's something I offer to many companies. It supports people while they're sitting at work and it supports people who have a hard time sitting down on the floor. So we're gonna sit up nice and tall in our seat. I want you to take your feet so that your heels are underneath your knees. And let's take your right, sit, your right buttocks and pull it back and your left buttocks and pull it back. So you're right on your sit bones on kind of on the edge of your chair, sitting up nice and tall. If you don't have a chair, you can follow 
while you're seated on the mat. And we're gonna use our strap or scarf or our belt. And we're gonna begin with some shoulder opening postures. So inhale, open up and pull your strap taut. And let's open up the arms. And then exhale, pulling the hands forward. Inhale, arms up. Stretching the hands away from each other. Exhale, the hands down. This time we're gonna bring the hands forward. Now let's draw the shoulders up by the ears and draw your shoulder blades onto the back as if you're trying to squeeze a pencil between your shoulder blades, good. And that makes it easier now to bring the arms up and maybe around. So let's do that for a couple of rounds, moving with the breath, with a deep inhale and exhale. And if you need to bend the elbows, then you can take a wider grip with your strap. So when you're sitting, it helps to create more length in the spine, especially if you have tight hips. So it's moving back and forth with the breath. Now let's come up and then let's go over to the right side. The right hand pulls over and the left hand comes up, gently gaze over to the left side. Inhale up, exhale over to the opposite side. And let's do this a couple more times. You can do it your own rhythm, your own pace. Moving with the breath. Okay, let's bring the hands back in front of us. And if that became more useful, let's bring the hands a little closer together with our grip. Inhale the hands in front, draw shoulders up and back, hands up, and see if you could pull the strap and bring it behind your back. Creating more opening in the shoulders. We're also strengthening the rhomboid muscles that draw the shoulder blades onto the back and create a healthier posture. Okay, so let's take our strap to the side. Let's bring the right hand in front and take the left hand and hug the arm towards us and gently gaze over to the right. Deep inhale, long exhale. And let's do the other side, extend the left arm out. Right hand, grab the whole shoulder there, hug the arm towards you. Inhale, and then exhale, gaze over to left. Wonderful, and bring that arm back. Let's take our hands to our shoulders and do some big shoulder circles. Moving with the breath. Fantastic. So you're gonna take the right knee and let's pull it into the chest. And now pull it over to the right and pull it in. And let's pull it back. To center. Extend the leg out, interlace the hands underneath your thigh and press the foot out. At the same time, press your leg into your hands. Wonderful. Let's do the opposite leg. Inhale, pull the knee in. Pull it over to the left, lengthen through your spine. Let's pull it back to the chest. Extend the leg out, interlace hands underneath the thigh. Press the foot out away from you. Beautiful. We're gonna walk our feet a little wide. Take your hands to the knees. Inhale, let's stretch over to the right. Big stretch. Come up and over to the other side. Big stretch. And let's come up and we're gonna do that a couple more times, stretching over to one side, stretching over to the other side. Good modification, Joseph. And over. And another one. So now we're gonna bow forward, lengthening forward, so if your hands come to the earth, let them come to the earth. If they don't touch the floor, grab your elbows. 
The knees are wide enough so that your torso can come forward. And you're gonna look from the, move your head right to left, relaxing the neck, relaxing the jaw here. Let the head become still, the weight of the body, gravity pulling you down, creating length in between the vertebrae from the tailbone all the way to the top of the neck. Deep inhale, long exhale, feeling a little heavier towards the earth. Releasing in the lower back. One more deep inhale. And then on the exhale, let's take our hands to our thighs. Now, lifting the chin, lengthening through the spine here. Pull shoulder blades on to the back. And we're going to slowly come up. Hands rest on the thighs. Close your eyes for a couple of breaths. Circulation and blood flowing going to the brain. Notice. If you feel more still, more calm inside. Watching the flow of breath come in and out. Let's open up our eyes. Beautiful. So let's bring our feet back hip width apart and we're gonna do a twist. If you're sitting on your mat, you can do a seated twist with your legs crossed. So let's bring our right hand behind. You have a couple options. You can place it on the seat of the chair or maybe grab the edge of the back of the chair. Left hand to your right thigh. Inhale, lengthen up, pull belly in and twist from the belly here. Inhale, lengthen and exhaling, gently twisting. And let's come back. Other side, left hand behind, other, either grab the edge of the chair or Press on the seat, right hand to the left thigh. Inhale, lengthen up. From the belly, twist. Gently gaze over to the left. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, gently twisting. And come back. Wonderful. We're going to take the hands behind our head. Not the neck, but the head. Inhale, open up. Exhale, let's round forward for a couple of breaths, stretching the back of the neck. And let's come up. Let go. So we're gonna come standing. So you're going to place, if possible, going to place your foot on top of the chair. If you don't, if it doesn't work for you to place it on a chair, you can come into a forward lunge with your foot in front of you and the back foot. And we're going to take our right arm inside of the right leg, fingertips to the floor, and then open up in the left arm for a deep, Stretch in this whole left side of the body. Inhale, lengthening up. And now we're going to twist from our belly. Take the left elbow outside of your right knee. Use your right hand on the thigh. Pull your belly in to twist and gaze over to the right. You can extend the right arm up if you like. And if you want to go deeper, you can even take the hand and wrap it around your back. Come back. Walk your foot out a little bit towards the right side. And we're going to bow forward. So my knee is bent, bowing forward towards the chair for a deep opening in our right hip here. So you can come to the elbows or just your hands on the chair and we'll take two more breaths here. Releasing in the right hip as you bow forward a little deeper. And press the hands into the earth and let's rise up. Let's go to the opposite leg. Let's take the left leg. 
So first you're gonna take your left hand and place it on the inside of your left leg, hand on the chair, and you're gonna press your arm and the left leg into each other isometrically, just we like we would in a side angle posture. And then open up the right arm. You should feel a nice twist and opening here in the lower back. Keep the bottom leg nice and firm. From the heart, expand out through the fingertips, sending your love out to the one you are giving your gratitude to today. Come up. Going to take your hands to your thigh. So let's pull the belly in. For this twist here, take the right elbow on the outside of your left knee. So you're gonna keep it here. So this might be your work right now in keeping the bottom leg steady. If you wanna extend the top arm up, you can. And if you wanna wrap it around the back, you can do that too. So you have different stages here. Take another breath and release. Take your hands now inside of the chair. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, and we're gonna exhale, bow forward. And you may come to your elbows for a little deeper opening or just to your hands. And if it's too much on the chair, you can also do this with your foot on a block on the mat. So tighten the muscles above the bottom leg and release. Wonderful. So you're gonna walk, place your hands on top of your chair. Let's walk the feet out. So they are underneath the hips. The feet are about hip width apart. And I'm gonna press my hands to the chair Lift the shoulders up like we would in a downward dog, and then soft, lift the chin, gazing upwards, softening the space in between the shoulder blades as I release my head in between my arms, press the hands in the chair and lengthen through the spine. Now you can have your knees bent, try to make that healthy, the healthy curve in your lower back, in the lumbar area. That's what we're working on here. And now bend one knee and straighten the other leg and then bend one leg and straighten the other. You're gonna do one and then the other. And if you're not using a chair, you can be in downward facing dog right now, if, if you prefer. And bend both knees, inhale into the back body, expanding the back body, press hands into the chair. Exhale, drop the belly, stick the hips out. Keep hands firmly pressing on your chair and then see if you can begin to straighten the legs back a little more, creating length in the spine. Just stay here for a couple of breaths. It's wonderful to have a deep opening along the inside of the arms and the whole side bodies. Use the hands to press into your chair and let's walk back to the chair. So we're gonna come seated. Feet on the floor. I'm gonna inhale and bring the hands up overhead and exhale the right arm under the left. We're gonna come into Gadudasana arms. In a chair, it actually gives you a little more access to the legs. So you're gonna hold the arms together and we're gonna take the right leg over the left. Try to take the right foot behind the left shin if possible. Hug everything to the midline here. Lengthen through the spine. Maybe you can take your elbows to your knees finally. Lift through the heart and come back up and release everything. Arms up to the other side. We're doing opposite. 
Take the left leg over the right or do your opposite leg. So since we have the chair support, we can try to actually line up our arms and our knees. When we're standing, we usually have one going to one side or one to the other. So we can actually try to line them up here, which is the ideal posture, hugging to the midline, and now dropping the elbows, if possible, towards your knees. Only if possible, you do what's best for you. Breathe into the back body. Exhaling, softening, rounding forward a little bit. Hug everything to the midline. This is very good for strengthening the pelvic floor and the core muscles. And let's release everything. And bring everything up. Inhale, exhale, hands to the lap. Take a breath here. Just close the eyes for a couple of seconds. Roll shoulders up and back and lengthen through your spine. When we cross the midline, like in Eagle or Garudasana posture that we just did, it's very good for the right and left brain connection. So we're gonna take the chair and take it to the end of the mat. I wanna keep it on my mat. We're gonna use this to come into Halasana. So if you have a, um, blanket that you can use for your shoulders. We're going to come back into plow pose. So I'm just going to do a quick demonstration so that you can all see what we're going to do. I'm going to have my shoulders come here at the end of my blanket or a pillow. I know some of you prefer not to have it. I just like to have it. It creates space here for the neck. And then you're going to, with an inhale, Push the legs up and back and take your hands behind your back here. And then you can come into a modified shoulder stand. And then legs to the chair and work your shoulders under one at a time. Some of you may want to come into a full halasana. We'll stay here for a couple of breaths. If you can bring knees to earth to your ears, you can do that. And then we'll slowly come out of the posture. We'll come into Matsyandrasana with our hands underneath the hips to release. And then we'll bring our legs, come around. It's nice to place the hips on top of here. You have two options, hips on top of here, or you can have your, um, scapula, shoulders on top of the blanket here, and then we will rest like this. Okay, so I know some of you are already coming into it. So I'm going to move along with you. So shoulders, I'm gonna do it again for those of you that um, wanna move with me that needed to see it at first. So shoulders to the top of your blanket. Push your feet toward to your chair. Now use your hands to support your lower back here, or you can come into a full shoulder stand if you are familiar with that, or you can do a modified. We're gonna do a modified here to keep it simple. So hands right at your hips, Extend the legs up, stretch them up to the sky. Now take the tops of the feet to your chair. Walk one shoulder at a time underneath if that's a possibility. Or you can keep your hands on your back. If you can walk them under, do so. And you can stay here for a couple of breaths. If you want to come into a full halasana, if you want to take your feet inside the chair to the floor, you can do that. We'll stay here for a couple more breaths. The king of postures. So healthy to get your heart above your head. It's fantastic for circulation. It's 
one of the best postures for the spine. So if you want to bend the knees to your ears, maybe grab your feet, that's an option. Before you slowly use your hands to support yourself as you slowly roll yourself down, good. Now let's place our hands underneath the sacrum, extend the legs, we'll come into our Matsyandrasana or fish posture. Top of the top of the head presses into the earth as you arch your neck back. We're releasing our spine here. Take a couple of breaths. Good. Pull the knees in. You can rock back and forth a little bit. If it feels good for you to do um, happy baby, then do that. You can do a happy baby if you like. It's always good to help release in the spine and in the hips. And then we're going to roll over. And we have, so there's a couple of options here. Some people like to place the blanket underneath the hips. I like to have it right underneath my shoulder blades. It's very nice. You can also roll it up this way if you wanna have it in between your shoulder blades like this. I like, I'm going to do, it's also very, we've done that before. It's also very nice to have it um, right across the shoulder blades. You can have um, a thick kind of blanket, you know, folded like this to go right across, no lower than the shoulder blades. And then you have the legs up on the chair once you get the posture correct, it's really wonderful <laughs> when you have everything in the right place. So I have this right at my shoulder blades, kind of at the bottom, shoulders open up, palms to the earth. If you feel you need to do a little more to release in the lower back, you can take the left leg and interlace hands underneath the left thigh and press the leg up and ground your left sit bone, your left hip into the earth here as you stretch the leg to the sky. And let's do the other one. Stretch it up. Press the thigh into the hands for a little more of a release. Halasana is a deep posture and it's good. You want to take the time yeah, that even helps it to release more into in the whole pelvic girdle area. Open up the hands, open up the chest and the heart. Let everything melt into the earth. With so much gratitude for the earth that supports us every day, nourishes us. So much gratitude for the person or whatever it is that you're thinking of. Allow your whole being fill up with so much love and gratitude for whatever it is that you're thinking of. Hold that in your mind and heart. We'll stay here for another minute. And with each exhale, breathe out gratitude to whoever or whatever it is that you're holding in your heart.
And the next inhale, coming back to the surface. You can bring your knees to the chest and roll them over to the side from the chair. And we'll come meeting at a seated posture. You can either sit in your chair or on the floor, whatever is best for your body. Once you're in your seated posture, let's pick our sit bones, pull them, pick your buttocks up, pull your buttocks back so you are rooted on the earth in your hips. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Shoulders soften down. And staying connected to that gratitude in our heart, we'll stay here for another minute, sitting in our stillness, sitting in our love. Taking a deep breath, bringing our hands in front of our hearts. We'll take an inhale and close with one ohm. Inhale. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you, everybody. So this will be our only chair class. That'd be nice to share it with all of you. So day 22, <laughs> wishing you all a beautiful day, beautiful evening. Tomorrow, day 23, it's, it's just flowing. Every day, I look forward to being here with all of you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening. Namaste.